Hello, my fellow creatives. Today's inspiration for this five supplies and five minutes art journal page is a mandala or a kaleidoscope, a circular design with radial patterns that are repeated in a mirror image across from each other. Let's talk about the supplies. We will be using, first of all, supply number one, some scrapbook paper in a couple different patterns. The prep work for that paper is one that's the size of the background. I purposely wanted to do something with a background paper to cover up part of this, the embroidery floss that happened from the page before the tied part I wanted to cover up for sure. And I ended up covering up that part. Okay, scrapbook paper. Um, I do wanna lay it out for you ahead of time so you can see the shapes and sizes. Two thin pieces that we'll be making an X all the way across. One donut that fits most of it. The way that you cut a donut, I'll show on this one because it's going to be a torn donut, is you can cut the circle first or you can fold it in half and cut the circle and then cut the inside. So for the torn donut, I have already done the outside and I'm just demonstrating the donut hole. We want that to fit inside of there and last but not least, one circle for the center. So if you need to pause the video here to assemble those pieces, go for it. After that, we will be using a stamp pad. This one is Archival Ink by Ranger and a long border stamp. I'm choosing this one. Some white gesso will be involved in the making of this project. As will, let's see, that's one, two, three, as will supply number four, some acrylic. I'm choosing heavy body in two colors and supply number five, some fluid acrylic in another color. The types of paint, the types of acrylics do not matter. Use what you have on hand. So let's think radial energy mandalas, kaleidoscopes, bursting with patterns and color. First off, we need to get that background paper glued down to the page. On top of that is going to be the two skinny strips of paper that form the X from corner to corner. For this paper, the X, I did choose something that would be light enough that a black stamp pad will be able to show up on top of it because we are now inking our stamp and stamping right over the X. If you don't have a long skinny stamp, it's easy to draw some kind of a pattern with a black marker in there. For this project, I wanted lots of layering of patterns and movement. Once that's on there, I'm moving over to the black paint because I want something to contrast with whatever's with what's happening ahead of it already. So I want a dark color in there making four lines 
coming out from the center. That was with a little bit of a bigger round, chip, round, round tipped brush. This is more of a fine point going in for an accent color coming around in our circle and creating a fun pattern with materials and supplies. Let's continue that pattern, linear pattern idea with the yellow, which is going to be a wavy line. in between the different sections. Well, that definitely looks like our radio, radio pattern is happening there. Time to I forgot something I was going to do. Q-tip. I don't think I mentioned that we're using a Q-tip. I would like some white dots to stand out on top of the black paint. That really shows up. Now back to our glue. Let's glue on the bigger donut. Right around everything. And the smaller donut. We have less than a minute left. Not that it's our rush, but I like to give you a five minute project in this series of videos just to give you something short and sweet. That dot goes in the middle as does a baby fingerprint and finding the clean end of my q-tip. I'm going around the outside of this circle and finishing it up with a swoosh of white gesso right there. How's that for five minutes? No worries if it takes you longer or if you go about it in your own pattern and own style. That's what this is all about, playing with the materials and doing something quick and easy to start your artistic day. Thank you for watching Creative Solace Studios. My name is Kathleen Arela Johnson.